Hi, this is Jeffrey Smith from SEO Design Solutions. Just wanted to share a couple of quick tips about link building. Uh, one of the main things and one of the reasons why you hear everyone's making such a, uh, a big deal out of WordPress and WordPress blogs is it provides you with the ability to utilize the RSS functionality to aggregate data. Now, the great thing about this is if you're actually creating relevant content within your website, this uh, you know there's two ways or two schools of thought in regard to link building. The first being you're going to go out and have to go and actually build links to your site, which can be somewhat tedious. I mean, the traditional link building method is um, you know begging, asking others to link to you, um, using directories, using other blog comments, other you know un unspeakable ways that people actually acquire information. But there's a better way, and the better way is just using your RSS feed within a WordPress or any type of a, of a CMS installation. What you'll note is I just actually created this post just a few days ago, and the real value of creating a broader footprint online is, as whenever you get trackbacks or things of that nature, retweets, what have you, it creates a higher likelihood of actual people using this and, and providing <coughs> contextual links back to your post. Another example of this is this post in actuality, which uh, was just done a few days ago, has already attracted 47 backlinks. Now, even though that might not be something that is uh, phenomenal, the notion is is that rankings are by the page, and the real value of this strategy is is that over time, what distinguishes websites that have authority and those that do not are two things: the internal link structure within the website and the the ability for it to attract its own, you know, uh, links from other sources. Another thing I was going to show you here: there's obviously a lot of sources that just aggregate data, like Jump Tags, which is great. Um, most of the time, you'll see things like Technorati, Sphere, Ice Rocket. But whenever, you know, here's another tactic that I wanted to show you: there's a way that you can actually go to trends.google.com, find out what topics are hot. And as a result of that, sort of create content that is really something that is going to uh, to get the, the kind of uh, reference that you that you know if it gets picked up in the Google News Feed, for example, or Google Trends Feed, that's a guaranteed backlink from a, a site that has a tremendous amount of page rank. We're looking at uh, PR7 and also the footprint that it leaves when other people are looking to create topical posts about information. Um, it just provides you, once again, with a wonderful way to promote backlinks. So hope that was a useful SEO tip. Stay tuned for more from SEO Design Solutions.